Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. Um, in the last part, I came back to the Pokemon Center of Seven Island, and I picked up my Raticate. And now we're gonna head back down. Head back down and go to the Tanubi Key, and... Should've put Repel on. Hey, a Sentret! Not catching you right now. Maybe later. Alright. So we're gonna, first we're gonna do a Tanobi Key, which is... Not here. But it's around here somewhere. I forget where it is exactly. Come on. Come on! There it is, down here. <coughs> Alright, so this puzzle isn't awful. I haven't practiced it, but... Using strength. Alright, now the only place for these boulders to go, or you know what, the, these three go in the top three, that's how you do it, otherwise it's not going to work, so don't just immediately put them on the left or right like you would normally think you would, would do, oh crap, okay I'm not going to fast forward, Except to, you know, put this one there. Don't do what I do. There's no enemies in here, so don't worry about that. Only when I'm sure I can do it am I going to do it. It's an easy puzzle. I just make it look hard. Because I go fast. I try to speed it up to make the episode not take 20 years. Alright, let me think. <coughs> Alright, yeah, if I go over, over, and send those ones up. Yeah, that should work. And just all the way up and over. Sweet! Got it. <coughs> then a huge earthquake! <coughs> that just means we unlocked what's in the Tenobi ruins, which <coughs> I found out is nothing good. It's, um, unknown, which are terrible psychic Pokemon, and the only reason they're in the game is so you can collect all, all the letters of the alphabet, or whatever it is. <coughs> so now that we have Rock Smash, we can get this treasure, which isn't really that great anyways. Alright. Smash this, go down, smash this, go over, and... We get the King's Rock, which evolves, evolves somebody, I don't know who the heck it evolves. So yeah, the Tenobi Rubens, all that's down there now is, <clears throat> is that my bicycle? Yeah, why am I not on my bicycle? <clears throat> is unknown, so I'm not even going to go back and show you guys. But that's what's down there, and that's how you get them to appear, is to figure out that strength puzzle and the Tenobi Key. So, with that, I really think I'm done. I mean, I can't even tell you what else there is left to do. I'm pretty sure I've done everything. So, this is a super short video today. I thought that would take a little bit longer. Um, let's deposit, ride a kite. Get Firo back. Well,. Excuse me, hang on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, well I guess I can show you guys um my Pokemon. I don't know if I ever did. <clears throat> Showing you that I'm ready for you to pick whatever Pokemon you want, at least out of the 150. These are all in Pokedex order. I mean, I have them all leveled up and everything. Um I even started to catch some of the newer Pokemon, but I didn't catch that many except like Heracross and that guy. Which I don't even know how. <coughs> Someone suggested Heracross. Heracross. I'm just gonna look at his moves. Oh, they're terrible right now. Whatever. But uh, yeah. So. 
I think the only thing left to do is head back to Kanto and take on the Elite Four again. I think. Oh, no, no, no. We can do one more thing. But we're going to want to go back to Kanto to do it. Well, I think we can. Alright, so from Vermillion, hop on the bike. <coughs> we're going to... Well, there's a couple things we can do before taking on the Elite Four if I really wanted to. But I'm probably going to take on the Elite Four first. I don't know. You know what? Nah, let's, I'll do this first. Then we'll take on the Elite Four. But this episode, I'm just going to get to the place because I don't think I can start it. Alright, so here we are back at... And I know I'm going to freaking need him. What's his name? I'm going to need Radicate. Which sucks, because... Because he, he has a bunch of moves. He has, like, Cut, Strength, and Rocks Red. So I'm going to need him. Alright, let's do it. The guy gone? Yeah, the guy's gone. Alright, so we're going to do that today, I guess. Or start it anyways. Because I have about three minutes. Oh, yeah, level 13 Pidgey. Get him, Bolt. Oh, just kidding. Level 11 Pidgey. Throw a Pokeball at it. Alright, let's surf it up. Alright, so now if you come down here past the ruling city... Let's see this little platform here on Route 4, which you can actually use to get... I knew there was someone back here, I just didn't know. Well, I shouldn't have came for Mushroom Pokemon, because pairs suck. <coughs> and I don't care if I use Bolt here, because he's not going to be much use inside the cave, I don't think. Oh, of course, Paralyzed. I'm still faster Paralyzed, that is ridiculous. Of course, because Leech like doesn't even doesn't even hurt me enough for my stupid leftovers to heal me all the way back to full. Wow, are you serious? Ah, uh, this is the stupidest battle I've ever had in my entire life. Look at this. Ah, uh, finally, jeez. All right, bullet fifty six. Oh wow, I did not just do that. Dang it! Well, now I'm fast forwarding because I'm pissed. Alright. Okay, so we made it to the Cerulean Cave. Ooh. Alright, there's um no new Pokemon here that I know of. It's just evolutions of like the cave Pokemon, so like Gravelers and Chokes. Stuff like that. Um, always skip the first ladder. Because. There's a four star! Now, I'm probably just going to repel up this entire dungeon and get Bolt out of the lead. Because, if anything is above level 55, with some stuff might be that high. Can I get a max elixir? <coughs> this is probably the way you're supposed to go right here. The Cerulean Cave is pretty massive, not gonna lie. But there is a very important reason why we're here. See, I knew there'd be stuff that was higher than us. There is. This is a... Ow! What a dick! <laughs> wow. What a total dick that guy is. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely stuff that's stronger than level... Uh, level 55 and 56 and stuff. So, be careful when you're in here. Your repel will work on some of the things, but not everything. Whoops. <coughs> so we're gonna, we'll finish up this place, yeah, before we start heading to the Elite Four again. I'm just getting all the items on the first floor. Um, you can get through here if you just go back like this. And this where we came in? Yeah. I'm gonna just take the first elevator, or pfft, first stairs. I don't have elevators in this game. 
Alright, let's see where this goes. It just goes to a rock smash place. But this wouldn't have been here in the normal version. You would have just been able to get it, I think. But that's all it leads to. So, yeah. I'm going to have to check out every freaking ladder. Awesome. I love dungeons like this. They're so awesome. Alright, so... I figure the last ladder is probably the one you're supposed to go to. Because who would build a dungeon like that if it wasn't? So there's nothing up here. Secret items. Rock smash this thing. And this leads... See, this leads to nowhere, too. I might as well just show you all the dead ends. Plus, that's how I play RPGs. I go everywhere I can. But it looks like that's the, uh... Last thing I'm going to be able to do in this episode. So this is Glenio 2, and I'll see you guys next time.